treatment demonstration with HK.ESWL-VM extracorporeal shockwave lithotripter from Wicom. Demonstration of X-ray and ultrasound dual localization. Case 1. A 33-year-old male patient with recurrent left lumbar colic for one month. The abdominal plane film and ultrasound image both indicated left upper ureteral calculi. The stone size is measured 9 times 7 mm. Clinical diagnosis is upper left ureteral calculi with mild hydronephrosis. The doctor recommended extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy treatment. First of all, patient was informed of the diagnosis, treatment plan, treatment effect, and risk of the disease. The patient was asked to sign an acknowledgement consent. Then, the routine blood pressure measurement was performed. Ultrasound examination was performed again before the ESWL treatment to confirm the location of the stone. The doctor marked the rough stone position on the skin of the patient. Wicom VM extracorporeal shockwave lithotripter was used for this treatment. The equipment was installed in a 20 square meters radiation proof room. The X-ray was firstly used to localize the stone in C-arm upright position. After the X-ray localization, engage the ultrasound probe until the two images are completely consistent. Wear latex gloves and check the coupling between the shockwave source and the skin. Ensure that the water sac engages with the skin completely. Monitor the patient's blood pressure during the treatment. Track changes of the stone in real time with ultrasound. There was no skin damage after 1500 shocks. The shape of the stone changed gradually during the treatment. There was almost no stone visible in the X-ray image after 2200 shocks. The stone was smashed and the ultrasound image of it became dimmer. After the treatment, the diameter of the stone distribution was about 4 cm with ultrasound imaging. The first urine after the ESWL treatment was pink. There was no stone particles in the front. Before the patient left, the doctor asked the feeling of the patient, informed him the cautions after the treatment, methods of collecting stones, and the date for re-examination. After the treatment, clean, sterilize, and reset the machine.